in this tutorial we're going to look at Prim's algorithm. Prim's algorithm is an algorithm we use on networks and it's an algorithm that finds the minimum spanning tree and the minimum spanning tree is just the shortest network that joins all the nodes together. A node is a point on the network so in this case the points are A, B, C, D and E and the network is the set of paths joining those points so in this case the line here AB is a path and AE is a path and so on so what's the process we go through to use Prim's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree well the first thing we do is we pick any point on the network sometimes we'll be given a point to start with we then pick the shortest path that's connected to this point to create a network. Now we pick the shortest path that's connected to this network, provided it does not create a cycle. And a cycle is where we create a loop. We then go back to three, and we can continue um, going back to three until we can't pick any more paths without creating a loop. So two things we have to note. One is sometimes we'll have two paths of the same length and the thing to note is it doesn't matter which path we pick. The other is that the weight of the tree, the weight of the minimum spanning tree, is the length of all the paths added together. And one thing to note is that we're only interested in knowing one of the possible minimum spanning trees. There can be several and deciding on which path you pick when you've got a choice between two or more of the same length. You can get different answers, but they will have the same length. Okay, for now for an example. So here's our network connecting the points A, B, C, D and E. But we want the minimum span entry and we're going to use Prim's algorithm. So the first thing we do is pick a point. And I've picked the point A. So what's the shortest path connecting and connected to A? Well, that's the path AB. So I'm going to highlight AB, and then I'm going to record what I've done by writing AB equals 3. So now what's the shortest path connected to either A or B? Well, that's the path AE, and that's got a length of 4. So I'm going to record that I've now picked AE with a length of 4. Now what's the shortest path connected to either A, B or E? Well that could either be E, D or E, C and it doesn't matter which one you pick. So I'm going to pick E, C and that's a length of 2 and I'm now going to record that by saying E, C equals 2. So now what's the shortest path connected to A, B, E or C? Well we can see that that's E, D. So I'm going to highlight ED and I'm going to record that by saying ED equals 2. So now what's the shortest path connected to A, B, E, C or D? Well, it could be um, C, D, but C, D would create a loop that goes from E to C to D. So we can't use that one. What's the next one? Well, that's B, C and that creates a loop. A, B, C, E, so that's no good. And what about A, D? Well, that creates a loop um, between A, E and D. So we finished. So now what I'm interested in is what's the weight of the path. So I add together the 3, the 2, the 4 and the other 2 and we get a weight of 11. Here's one for you to try. And see how you go, discuss the answer with your friends, share the weights that you get. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Stay in infield with Winfield.